Hi everyone, I'm Ikumi Yoshimatsu. Welcome to my channel, Ikumi's Voice. Ikumi's Voice is literally a variety of topics in radio format, sometimes English, sometimes Japanese. If you have something that you want me to talk about here, feel free to leave comments. Let's get started! So, today's topic is Tattoo Taboo in Japan. Many people know a lot of bits and pieces about Japanese culture, and these days, Japan is one of the biggest tourist destinations in the world. Yay! <laughs> But there are many cultural sensitivities that foreigners may find shocking. One in particular is. Tattoos! Do you have ink? Unfortunately, if you do, you may have to cover it in many public places. This is a big cultural difference between Japan and Western countries. As cool or meaningful as your tattoo may be to you, most Japanese find tattoos to be offensive and socially unacceptable. Okay, let me give you an example. I used to go to Gold Gym in Japan. Yes, there are many gold gym locations in Japan too. And of course, I saw a lot of foreigners, but they put skin tape or duct tape on their arms, legs, and shoulder to hide their tattoos. And also, there is a big sign at the front desk saying, please cover any tattoos so as not to offend others. Yep, it's true. And not only sports gyms, but also public swimming pools, hot springs, resort spas, and other public places. And if you try to get a job at a proper corporation, they often ask if you have any tattoos during the interview process. And if you do, guess what? You'll be seeking employment elsewhere. Mm hmm, that's Japan. <laughs> And a few Japanese celebrities have shown their tattoos on social media and they have lost fans because of it. Negative comments like, Oh no, how could you do that? Or, I feel sorry for your kids because you can't take them to a public swimming pool. Or people say, I'm so disappointed in you. Something like that. Even me, if I ever got a tattoo, I'm pretty sure my mom and dad would never again welcome me through the door. <laughs> There is a huge generation gap regarding tattoos in Japanese society. You see, although tattoos have been in Japan for like 10,000 years or so, for the past 500 years, tattoos were used to identify criminals and still today is associated with organized crime. So, I guess you can see how for a normal Japanese, showing off your tattoo might be offensive. Yup, if you have ink and are going to Japan and want to experience real Japanese onsen or other wonderful public facilities, you might want to bring a roll of skin colored tape or mold skin to cover up. Yes, I'm serious. Or, if you want to find tattoo friendly facilities in Japan, here's a perfect app for you. It's called Tattoo Friendly that will work in Japan. Of course, there is Japanese and English, so you can get tattoo friendly facilities information easily all over Japan. But I would recommend if you have ink, bring a skin color tape just in case. Japanese will appreciate this gesture. Because they know that you probably don't understand why it's offensive to them, but they will admire and respect your kind consideration toward their, our culture. And that, my friends, is Tattoo Taboo. If you've enjoyed our time together, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you won't miss the next Ikumi's voice. And once again, thank you for listening and hope you all have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye bye!